very important in hair transplant surgery is the patient's hair characteristics. Another important factor is the donor area density and size versus the recipient area size. That ratio, how it is at the time when I see the patient and how do we project it into the future. That will indicate or dictate uh, how many follicles are needed based on uh, also the patient's uh, goals and expectations and are they realistic and are they achievable and those things all tie together and uh, we have to uh, take a, a good assessment of what the patient's hair characteristics are but it gives us a good idea when we keep these things in mind what the end result is going to be like let's say this is a diagram of a coarse hair uh, with a curl and a wave and this is the scalp reflection and we're looking through a microscope so if I draw another line here and another one and maybe five of these lines and I will shut out that background it'll just be dark no reflection from light if the caliber goes down and it becomes thinner like this and I have five lines here next to each other you're still going to see the reflection of light from the scalp and uh, if you have a lot of short straight hairs they don't work that well even if you have plenty of them a relatively straightish hair covers less surface area than a hair with a curl and a wave so ideally you want somebody with coarse hair with a curl and a wave when a patient's got short straight hair we have to be honest with them and say maybe it's not going to be such a good idea to have a hair transplant you know maybe shave the scalp just or there are other options or maybe they say listen I'm not looking for the full head uh, look uh, full head of hair look I want just something there but it's important that those things be understood before the time and explained before the time before we proceed to surgery and we always do that